Hi, I'm Alberto Grignolo, editor of DIA Global Forum. I'm at the DIA Global Annual Meeting here in Boston, and I'm here with Nicholas Bullers. Hello, Nicholas. How are you today? Good. Great. I'm here with your parents, Brett and Aaron. Welcome to you both. Thank you. And we're here to talk about the study that Nicholas has participated in. And Nicholas, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a question or two. Would that be all right? Yes, sir. Thank you. First of all, what did you learn uh, from this experience of participating in this study? That my voice needed to be heard. Did you learn something about the FDA that interested you or surprised you? That they did the unanimous vote with no trouble. They did a unanimous vote with no trouble to approve something for you. Yes. Yeah, we'll get to that. And that was interesting. Well, yes. Did you learn something about the industry, the pharmaceutical industry that makes these medicines? Yeah, how long it takes for to be in a study. Did that surprise you? Yes, four years did surprise me. What did you expect uh, about the length of the study? Two or three years. Three years. Instead, it was four. Yes. Is there anything else you learned uh, in, as part of your experience in this case? No. Brett, perhaps, what did you as a family learn? Yeah, I think, I think the length and the process. What, what, what we found out was when you go into a study as a parent, you're, you're, you put your faith into it. You're, you're hoping that you'll get a good outcome, a good result. And when, when all your faith and hope is in someone else, then you realize, hey, there's issues that we can help correct. And I felt like uh, just uh, seeing what my son's going through, um, I felt like he deserved better. And I felt like there is something we could do and make changes in the, in the process along the way. And I found that they were receptive to our voice, but it is a process, it is a bureaucracy, and uh, there's no quick fix to anything. Okay. Aaron, do you have a perspective on your experience throughout this process? Yes, um, you know, learn that the patient voice is very important and when you're the parent, um, you have to become the voice for the patient and advocate for them, for their well-being. Okay. Is there something that you would like to, to have done differently or seen done differently by others as part of this process? Well, I guess, you know, it was being unfamiliar with the process at the beginning um, when this all started, when we started having trouble with IV access. I wish I would have known a little more maybe what the process would have been like and what we needed to do. What support did you have from others to learn about the process, how FDA works, how industry and so, works? Very thankful to um, patient um, advocacy organizations like the Jet Foundation and Parent Project Muscular Dystrophy, they were just huge in helping us navigate through the system. Did they participate with you in meetings with the FDA or with industry? How they um, were at our meeting with the FDA and just kind of helped me and well, us understand what the processes were and how, you know, best way to approach it. Nicholas, if I may ask you a question, what do you hope that your experience will teach others? Well, to try your hardest not freak out for what you have to go through. Hmm. How did you not freak out? <laughs> How did you manage? Well, you just have to take a deep breath. <laughs> and that helps you stay calm? And just go with the flow. That's very wonderful advice for others who may have to go through this experience. Brett, any advice for others based on this experience? I think knowledge is power. Uh, take, if I were to go through it now, I would look back at other, other uh, processes. And our study in Europe, they were using ports and I wasn't aware of that. You know, if I would have known that, maybe we ask at the beginning and say, because Nicholas was the first patient enrolled in the study and we could ask, why don't we use ports? And if not, how can we get there sooner? And it was almost like they had to wait for there to be a problem before they could make a change. Without my my advice would be one, I'd anticipate the problem, and we can do something about it in case you need to make a change. Nicholas, I understand you're a Formula One racing fan. Is that right? Yes. Did you have a special experience recently in the Formula One racing world? Yes. What happened? I met an F1 driver named Lewis Hamilton. And what company does he race for? Mercedes. Is he a good driver? Yes. Did you get to meet him personally? Yes. And what else did you do? Something to do with his car? I got to sit in his car. Was that really special? Yes. I'll bet it was. I'm a Ferrari fan myself. I'm very envious of your experience. This is wonderful. 
Well done. <laughs> Nicholas, I thank you for your time today. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you so much. Brett, Aaron, thank you for your time today. We appreciate it. For the AA Global Forum, I'm Alberto Grignolo. Bye-bye.